first Sea Lord's personal log, 4th of February, 1911. I find it hard to believe that it has been over a year since I took the role of acting first Sea Lord. Since a few weeks ago, however, the acting part of that title is now gone. I'm the first Sea Lord. For now, the politicians are satisfied with my strategy and they're allowing me to stay. The situation right now is stable. We have 81 ships of various different types. Another seven ships in construction. The Royal Navy has such an enormous amount of funding, we're actually making breakthroughs in naval technology. I haven't assigned any specific priorities in research. I believe in letting researchers do what they do best. Thinking for themselves. Coming up with these brilliant findings. It's a good thing too. I only have to assign a budget. I have plenty on my plate as it is. The last month, a special operation has been demanding my attention. I've come up with a plan. A plan to sink a sizable portion of the German Navy in one fell swoop. We've leaked information about a convoy of critical ammunition supplies which is heading to one of our colonies. I'm hoping this will cause the Germans to send a task force to intercept that very convoy. In reality, they're carrying sand to create the illusion of a heavy load. The convoy has set sail from Scapa Flow a few days hence. It immediately reported that a German warship of some kind seemed to be shadowing them. This is unusual. Normally the Germans seem to think of convoys as targets of opportunity, not primary targets. It is my suspicion, therefore, that the German Navy is vectoring more ships into position to strike the convoy. What they don't know is there's a large task force of ours standing by to strike back. Our task force is led by the battleship, HMS Thunderer. I've just had word that half a dozen more spoke blooms are spotted on the horizon. I've ordered the task force to immediately intercept. We're going to see if their trap can be sprung and if inside that trap are some Germans. Hey guys, Stealth here and welcome to episode 4. As you have heard in the Admiral's log, it is time to spring the trap. Our transports, loaded with sand, have attracted not just the V6, which was apparently shadowing the convoy, but they have also sent six, sorry, four heavy cruisers, sorry, four light cruisers to attack the convoy, the heavy cruiser Saxony and the Kaiser Wilhelm Zwitte, a battleship of 20,000 tons. What the Germans were not expecting is that our convoy was not sailing around unprotected. The moment that these ships were sighted from Sunderland, the Thunderer and her task force set sail. The Thunderer is escorted by the Bacante, the Lancaster, Budicea, Onslaught, Raider, Sea Bear, Whirlwind and Witherington. Let's spring the trap and let's decapitate the German battleship. Here we go. The enemy has already been detected at a range of 9.7 kilometers. Now, since the war has been raging for over a year and crew training has been progressively progressing nicely, Thunderer has a trained crew. So that means she is going to be more effective and more accurate. She will, however, not be fast. Her stop speed is 18 knots. The ship is also having uh, protection issues. She does not have a lot of bulkheads. Her armor, especially main belt armor, is survivable, I hope. But we're going about to uh, well, we're about to put the ship to the test. She has a, a bit of a curious setup with the 2-incher, I think, sitting atop of the 12-incher. And, well, under the right circumstances, I might be able to bring six guns to bear. Let's push this thing in, bow in. Just, yeah, just slowly. Okay. The heavy cruiser squadron. Lancaster, Bacante. Uh, where... I thought I had more heavy cruisers, but no. It's the light cruiser Budicea. Um, Lancaster and Bacante, with their 8-inch guns, at this range can potentially set a fire or two. 
they too have trained crews. Yeah, disallow the use of torpedoes. They're five inches going to be useful against the smaller ships, the light cruisers and the destroyers, notably. Survivability is okay for these ships. Then we have the Budiseo. Her five inches and her massive amount of three inches are ready. She has a regular trained crew, which has even better stats. And then we have the destroyers. I'm going to have the destroyers all in one division. Not allow the use of torps. We're going to move into the what I suspect is the front of the German formation. And see so we can intercept and drop torpedoes in their direction. That is the plan. All right, here we go. Thunderer, live up to your name. Cause some mayhem. The German battleship is an interesting design with a bunch of 9-inch guns on the bow, one on the uh, barbette on the stern, and a 12-incher, sorry, an 11-incher that almost falls off the ship on port and starboard wing turrets. First salvo is out. This should be... Now we're going to need to turn a little more. Last thing I want is for the enemies to immediately start penning my bow belt. So it's not that strong at six inches. And I'm hoping that the Thunder won't take on water because she could flood. She has that potential. With Aux 2, it's going to be okay. And Anti Flood 2 will also help. But I'm concerned about those few bulkheads. We'll just have to make do. Uh, heavy cruisers just move up. Apparently you're not interested in following Thunderer. But a say, uh... You can travel more or less at the same speed as the heavy cruisers. You're going to continue along with them. You're going to slow these down to full. I am not in a hurry to have these ships come out in front. Because I first need to take out the battleship before the lighter ships are going to be useful here. I need to make sure that the battleship gets killed off first. These guys are all going to be using high explosive until further orders. Because I suspect that if we can burn the superstructure down, their damage control is going to be much more difficult. Now, Thunderous... Yeah. She can thunder, alright. But so far, I only have two turrets that can do it. That's a bit sad. I was considering going broadside, but... I don't really want to risk it. There. Enemy battleship at 7 kilometers range. <clears throat> that is pretty close. Concerningly so. Light cruiser disallowed torpedo usage. 6.1 kilometer range. But Asaya is, interestingly, pretty survivable. She has more armor than the heavy cruisers. And with her torpedo launchers and speed, she might actually prove useful in torpedoing the enemy battleship. Yeah, we're still going to come out in front of that group. If I want to have the Thunder return, I'm probably going to have to do so pretty soon, before we get too close to these other contacts. Heavy cruisers, you're going to deal with the light cruiser. <coughs> Ignore the rest. The light cruisers are potential torpedo menaces and should be treated as such. Now, this is a risky point for the Thunderer. If they hit now, there is a very good chance that they will pen because I'm presenting a flat surface. But they're not hitting me yet. The destroyers have a torpedo range of just four. It is limited. We're going to cut these guys right off. Thunderer, that's better. There's the Kaiser. The Kaiser has an even better crew. They're seasoned sailors. And that means they get a 24% accuracy bonus. Interestingly, they're considering the heavy cruiser to be the biggest threat. I can't quite say I agree. <coughs> um... I would say Thunder is potentially more dangerous, but I can barely pen this ship. Well, no, that's not true. I can pen their turrets. 
Your torpedo range is six kilometers. You know what? We're gonna throw a torpedo. We're gonna try and throw this guy off. Just force him to turn around. Four percent chance to hit the battleship. That is pretty sad. What's their chance to pen the Thunderer? Twenty percent. My main belt is impenetrable at this range and angle. Uh, that does not seem to work both ways. Okay, there we go. Emden has taken some flooding. Excellent. Torpedoes out from Lancaster. These are <clears throat> not fast torps, so they're a little bit less easy to detect. That's going to work out pretty well. But the Kaiser is turning, so that's going to make it a little more difficult to get those things to hit. Secondaries on this target. Come on, get rid of the Emden before she fixes that flooding, if she can. She has few bulkheads that might make her susceptible to getting further damage. It seems that so far the destroyers are completely ignored. Which works for me. We're going to continue cutting through that formation and using our 5-inch guns to harass that light cruiser. Potentially even sink it. It's not the first time that we're doing that. And just close the distance to the battleship. Torpedoes are still en route, but I rather doubt that we're going to be doing anything useful with those. What are you targeting now? The light cruiser? Interesting. I'd say it's a mistake of the AI to keep changing targets. So the more that they do that, the less of a target profile they build up. The less of a, less of a firing solution. Torpedo in the water from Emden, as detected by the sea bear. The light cruiser Frauenlob also threw out a torp. I could just sink it with the sea bear. <coughs> Probably wouldn't be too difficult. It's not really the prize. But hey, the fewer ships you have firing back at you, the better. The Emden at this range, 500 meters out, fast torps. She's going to have an issue with dodging that. Although we've seen the AI do all sorts of crazy stuff before. There she goes, hard to starboard. Alright, Lancaster. The enemy will be coming at you with a lot of torpedoes. See? They don't care about your torps. Instead, they're... <laughs> Throwing back their own. Uh, I want to detach the whirlwind from the div. I have to come very close to the other light cruiser and take it out. Sea bear, you can continue. Lancaster back to port. Status of the Thunderer. Not too bad. You are presenting yourself as a target? To what? Uh oh. This light cruiser could have thrown out torpedoes against the DD. At least it's targeting the DD. Okay, Whirlwind, this one's yours. Bring out the torpedo launchers. Steady course. Steady course. Steady course. Come on. Opportunity wasted. Alright, this one then, the Raider. Here's your target, the Frauenlop. Oh, beautiful hit there. What was that? That was an 8-incher. Come on. Oh, shit. These are not all the same type of torpedoes. Or, sorry, same type of destroyers. This is one of those new shitty destroyers that I built. Oh, crap. Torpedoes are away. Two impacts on Frauenlob. She's down. <coughs> she just doesn't know it yet, but 0.9% structural. Yeah, she's gone. Okay, Whirlwind. Looks like Sea Bear <coughs> is attracting a lot of attention here. We've got a torpedo coming in from 
Oh, fuck, from my ship. Okay, do something useful. Go AI control. It's something you usually don't put in the same sentence, but here we are. Sea bear that way. Witherington that way. Uh, heavy cruisers that way. Battleship status. You've done basically nothing. Switch target to the Medusa. <clears throat> there is a torpedo here. Potentially originating from the Medusa. Um, onslaught. Detach. You're going to chase down that light cruiser. As you can probably tell, keeping formation is not necessarily my strong suit. I want you to go back. I want you out of this fight. The Raider is reloading our torpedo launchers. The Witherington is not, and she has more of them. This is that pretty terrible DD. Back in episode one, I had the AI design ships for me. Uh, this is what they came up with. Oh, there I go, Sea Bear. What happened to you? Oh. You got torpedoed. Well, you sacrificed yourself for the Lancaster. So that's valiant. But deadly. We're gonna take care of the Medusa here. Raider's gonna go that way. Whirlwind is still loading. Seeing two more torpedoes. <clears throat> Could be a challenge to the Thunderer. Raider that way. Uh, yeah, you're gonna have to go hard over there, Witherington. Come on. So far, they've done 1900 damage. I have done 4100 damage, so we're getting there. Heavy cruiser group. Switch to intelligent or semi intelligent selection of ammunition. Onslaught. Do I need you to kill the Emden? I doubt it. Oh shit, that's not very helpful. The hell hit you? Oh, the light cruiser is taking an interest in you. Okay, fine. Status here. The Witherington can't really engage because the Raider is in the way. Okay, continue on your course. <clears throat> Saxony and Kaiser Wilhelm Twitter are moving back. Turn. Where's that torp going? Here. That could be a problem to the Buddhistia. In fact, oh fuck, that will definitely be a problem to Lancaster. Repay the service. Do me a favor and fuck that thing up with torpedoes. Budasea also took a torp. She has more bulkheads though, she's more survivable. Lancaster was already on the turn so she couldn't get her torpedoes off. This is not going well. Witherington. Oh, the Medusa took a hit from the battleship. She is crippled. At least something good came out of this. You really need to cut that shit out. Akante, hold your torps. Fuck it, we're torping this thing. <clears throat> Alright, you're gonna steady course and increase the flank speed. Come on, Onslaught. Bring those torpedoes to bear and eliminate the Emden. You got this. Come on. Buoyancy is dropping to 15%. It's a bit of overkill to be throwing torpedoes at it, but whatever. This light cruiser has caused enough damage and I need it gone. Witherington 
and Medusa are still at it. Sort of. Where did that twerp come from? Emden is toast. Very good. That was four torps. Did I completely overlook the Wiesbaden? I think I did. Bacante, that one's yours. Budisea, same. Can I count on Thunderer to eliminate the Medusa? Yeah, that should be feasible. Good. My one concern is that the battleship is a bunch faster than my ships. I really wanted that capital ship dead. But at this rate, that's not going to play out very well. Witherington, target this and kill it. Never mind. Thank you, Thunderer. You have done well. Get back. Wiesbaden is taking torpedoes. I just could tell you from what ship. Lancaster? Maybe? Bacante is full health. That's good. We can keep punching that ship. Uh, Whirlwind. We might need you and your speed to get that battleship. Because in the current conditions, I very much doubt that the raider's going to do it. No, you're going to retreat. You need to slow down until your flooding is fixed. If your flooding is going to get fixed. Smoke up, with say You got the, uh, the smoke screen. You might as well use it. Nice flooding on the Wiesbaden. Keep that up. <clears throat> How did I overlook this cruiser? Maybe I need to start playing more zoomed out, but that's just boring. I don't think it will make for good videos. Wiesbaden is flooding. Badly. Buoyancy is dropping quickly. Bacante is uh, eager to help out with that a little bit. That is rude. But it doesn't matter, you're dead. But not before you torpedo the Buddha again. Okay, the Wiesbaden is down. Out of commission. So. Um, whirlwind. What's your plan then? You were just stopped. Right. Witherington is falling back. Raiders falling back. Onslaught is falling back. We still have the Budaseya, but uh, at one percent buoyancy, <clears throat> I don't want to test the flex tape too much, so we're going to pull her back. Lancaster doesn't have torpedoes. The Bacante does, but a mere two. So that leaves Thunderer, uh, Whirlwind, and Bacante to try and deal damage against the Kaiser. Ah, not too bad. Destroyed casemate. There's still a heavy cruiser out there. As you might be able to tell by the incoming gunfire from, well, here. 8 kilometers out. How fast are you going? 24-4. So you're traveling at top speed. Minus some battle damage or weather. Bulkheads, few. Price, 18 million. Thunderer costs 18 million six as well. Exact same price on the ships. Now, I don't like doing it, but I'm going to have to speed this ship up. <clears throat> It'll come at the cost of accuracy. But hopefully it will get me into range before this thing completely disengages. Have at it. 23% chance to pen. Let's just fling HE at him and hope that we hit something important. But then again, that's been basically naval gunnery for the past couple hundred years. Fling shit at him and hope that you hit something important. Whirlwind is my biggest hope right now. Smokescreen? Oh shit, you still got a destroyer in there somewhere. Interesting. It's not at all what I was 
expecting. I thought it was a heavy cruiser and a battleship, but it's a heavy cruiser, a destroyer, and a battleship. There's three of them now. This is getting out of hand. Hello, Saxony. You are our mystery ship that's flinging what? High explosive? Well, potentially not high explosive, but definitely 8 inch at me. Kaiser Wilhelm probably turning away. Can we then this? Yeah, that's much better. Angle? Well, not too bad. We can probably just go for high explosive against that target. Here you go. Bacante, get the V6. That's the key. Get the V6. We need to get this one and this one out of the way to make the approach of the whirlwind against the battleship easier. Simple math. Eliminate the numbers which can influence your one deciding factor. Torpedoes. The problem is, I don't have a smokescreen for whirlwind and she's flooding. It's not really going to help her speed much. Uh, oh. Shit. Bacante. <coughs> Dodge. Torps range, 6. Target's moving away, not feasible. Um, Thunder is only falling farther and farther behind. We're going to cancel this plan. I'd much rather go back with the ships that I have intact, or at least mostly intact, than have these ships get shot to bits. Because they have, what was it, 3 light cruisers or 4 light cruisers that they cannot repair. And I have ships that I can repair, and I have a huge budget, and uh, it shouldn't really be a problem to get those things back online. Might take a bit of time, but see, the Bacante is already done fixing her flooding, so she's fine. She needs to disengage. The Kaiser has already lost sight of most of my ships. I think it's just the Bacante which is still fighting. Thunderer took no damage. End the battle. So that was the trap. The trap sprung and it killed four light cruisers. Sadly, not the prize. I was really hoping to kill the Kaiser Wilhelm II. This would have been a very nice target to kill. 16 month build time. What's mine? 18 months. Huh. Okay. Okay. Not bad. Victory points are mine. And uh, none of my convoy ships sunk, but hey, they were carrying sand anyway, so it's all right. Um, that's it for this episode. I hope you guys are enjoying the storytelling. If you are, give this video a like. You would really help me out. And if you want to see more of it, subscribe to the channel. I will be definitely doing more campaigns, as I know the devs are working on more and more campaigns. So thank you for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you soon for more.